All right. In this video, we're going to take a look at the vMix full screen and multi-view options. Now, as you can see here, there's a little full screen button in the center of the vMix tab at the top. When I click it, it enables full screen on the settings that we have set up. And we have the ability to quickly choose what it is outputting. Is it outputting the output? the preview, the multi-view, or any input available inside of vMix. So it's very flexible. In fact, I want to show the multi-view output in just a moment here. So right now, let me see if I can zoom this out anymore. Um, this is the television that is set to output video to. So I've got this TV right here. So I've got an easy way to show this to you. So here's my vMix installation, and when I click the little full screen button, oh, it's just a Windows display. Click it again, and now I am showing uh, my multi-view. Now if I go in and change that to output, it's showing the output. When I check it to preview, it's showing preview. So I've got all these different options for just choosing random inputs even. I don't even know what input that is. Different inputs that you can just show up. So it's very flexible on what it does and what it can show. So I use it all the time, this television here. Generally, I look at all the time when I'm on camera so that I can see you know, what is happening on in vMix. So I just can kind of reference it. So there's a lot of different ways to use full screen setups. But one thing that we should definitely look at is the Windows display settings. So how do we get to that? Well, if you right click and you go to display settings in Windows, it opens this up and this tells you what each monitor is numbered. And that is going to be important as we take a peek at the vMix settings. So when we look at the vMix settings, we have two full screens. So we have full screen one and full screen two, right? If you have nothing set there, then it doesn't even show up as an option. But if you do have something set there, then you have multiple full screen options to play with. I usually just use one, and for this tutorial, I think that's fine. But you can see here, that number three is selected. So I know three in Windows is the monitor that I have selected for this to go output to. Now, the next thing is this multi-view layout. So you guys saw that I was outputting the, the basic, like the normal multi-view here. And you can see that there, right? So. That's the normal multi-view uh, layout where there's output and then all the inputs below. And that's kind of like the layout that is most common uh, for multi-views. But let's take a look at customizing the multi-view because maybe you want to see it in a different way. So we can ch choose some of these or customize our own uh, inputs specifically. So you have the ability to kind of choose where the titles are. You have the ability to choose whether there's a preview or an output, and then you can choose specifically what inputs you want to see in the multi-view. Um, that's kind of nice, but honestly, uh, these preset multi-views, like if I switch it there, uh, now instead of seeing what we were seeing before, we're just seeing like all a, a bunch of tiles instead of the output and input at the top. Um, and essentially, as I move inputs around, they move their order in the multi-view. So it's pretty intuitive. I'm sure you guys will get that. But that is how full screen and multi-view work in vMix. It's very much a core feature of vMix, and I'm sure you'll end up using it in some way throughout your vmix productions